right, Greenleaf fans, uh, if you watched last week's episode, then you know uh, Little Miss Sophia has a little bit of a scandal going on here. Uh, thanks in part to uh, maybe one or two inappropriate photos she sent to Dante, and, well, they're on the internet. And as soon as Zora mentioned this to Sophia in the last episode, all I could think about was the Wildin' Out song, Send Me the Nudes. Girl, send me the nudes. Won't pics of your boobs. Won't tell anybody except for my crew. Now, before going any further into this video, take a moment to hit that thumbs up button to show that you like it. Hit subscribe if you are new. Everybody, hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out when I post new content. And follow me on social media. Links are in the description box below. Now, particularly, I think it's safe to say that Nikki was the one that leaked him. L l let's be real. Dante is an ass. But I don't think he would go that far. I think Nikki did it mainly due to the fact that she probably saw how many times Sophia had called and left voice messages. I mean, in the last episode, she was sitting by Dante's phone, heard it go off, grabbed it, answered, then hung up on her. So I'm probably guessing that this was to teach um, Sophia a lesson. And given that Zora knows about this now, I wonder if she'll find out that Nikki was the one that did it. And again, I could be wrong, but... I'm about 98% sure that she was the one that leaked it. The other 2% is Dante, but only because Nikki made him do it, but I still think it was Nikki. I wonder in this case, would Zora still feel like Sophia needs to apologize to Nikki? Would she still allow Nikki to stay in her place? I mean, don't get me wrong. And guys, I know I had to interview with Desiree Ross, so don't think I'm having Sophia biased here. But I do feel like it's kind of messed up how Zora would take so Nikki's side over Sophia's when you and Sophia have gotten close over the what pa uh, past almost three years or so that they've been you know uh, well Grace and Sophia came back to live with the Green Leaves yeah you had your ups and downs but Sophia always had Zora's best interest at heart even when she didn't want it um, acknowledged like uh, when she was going through the abuse with Isaiah. And then you have Nikki show up. She was the one who intercepted Dante because, if I'm not mistaken, Zora had a, a crush on him. And then the fact that her father was kind of like his spiritual mentor, that would make it easy, I guess you could say. Not easy, but it would make access to Dante more accessible. But then come to find Nikki intercepted. Not to mention last season, it almost seemed like Nikki was coming on to Zora. And then Dante and um, Nikki, I guess you could say, break up. And then Zora wanted a place to stay. And then not only is she mocking Zora, but also her Christianity. So it was like, look, you can believe what you want to, but why are you going to, you know, uh, slander and mock my religion? Because if anything, Zora was becoming the goody two shoes that Sophia was. Because I believe the whole deal with Lady May was, hey, if you wake up like at 5, 530 for, you know, prayer with me then i can let you stay in that house by yourself but um yeah sophia she left for college for what like a early summer program or whatever but then came back due to the whole situation with aj and then she felt completely out of place and then when she felt pretty much alone that's when her and dante got to know each other and then Zora is going to get mad at her. And that's the thing I never liked. The fact that Zora was quick to jump down Sophia's throat, but didn't do the same to Nikki. So basically you're taking sides with me. Oh, you need to get along for her. You need to apologize. And it's like, Sophia never really did anything to hurt Zora. So, and I'm not saying I dislike Zora, but I don't think that was good pacing of that dynamic. So I guess you could say we'll find out how things will heat up tonight when Nikki comes by but uh let me know your thoughts in the comment section below uh do you think that Nikki was the one that leaked Sophia's photo how do you think Zora is going to react to this and what will be the impact of the leaked photo that's my question so with that being said thanks so much for tuning in if you'd like to donate to the channel feel free to do so on Patreon by joining for as little as one dollar a month also you could just hit me up on Cash App or PayPal uh look spent a lot of money over the holiday weekend at home and uh I paid off my car two weeks ago so praise the lord for that just got my title when i was at home monday it came in the mail 
and I am grateful for that. So, Lord, just thank you so much for that. And thank you all because you all watching the channel, creating the ad revenue, creating the money I get every month from Google that made it possible. So thank you all for supporting me. So, again, when I always say, like, hey, you can hit me up on PayPal Cash Up, that's not mandatory. It is appreciated. But you all watching the videos, generating the ad revenue is how I'm able to make a living. So thank you all so much. Um, the next thing for this month, I got a few hundred dollars to pay off in credit you know, like credit card and whatnot. Once that's done, I'm out of consumer debt. The only debt I have is student loans. So just keep the views up. I got some stuff to list on eBay later this week. And uh, that's all, all I can say is just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I can't wait for the nice new episode. Take care, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.